again. <laughs> we're chilling out here. We've got the beats, we've got the vibes. And we're currently at Henrietta Hotel, Henrietta Street, which some of you guys may know is the mecca of menswear. And also home to Frenchies, the restaurant that we went to our Christmas work to. So this place is kind of like home to us, although it's the first time we've stayed in this hotel. So we're gonna be spending the night here this evening, which is lovely. And hello everybody, <laughs> haven't said hello yet. Hope you're all very well. I was going to be going to dinner this evening and I'm going to be meeting up with Alex Harrison and we're going to go around the corner. I think we're going to try out sticks and sushi or something along those lines and then meet the girls a little bit later on for a few drinks. Really chilled, casual vibes. Um, we've just travelled down from Milton Keynes. Traffic wasn't too bad which was a bonus because we travelled through rush hour. Check out the views of the London Eye. Can you see? Up here. Kind of light reflection. That's better. There she goes, spinning around. Do you know how long it takes? I think it's an hour to get all the way around. Could be wrong. We've also got a really nice little balcony out here as well. Not open, I know, I haven't opened it. So, love a roll top bath. I think if we had, no, we said we would have a slipper bath tub, wouldn't we? Yeah. If, if we had one in the house. Style, yeah. Which are obviously the ones with like the really high back. But I do like the roll top with the legs. The same, the slipper's just a different shape on top. I thought the slipper you had them come straight down to the floor. Oh, you can do, yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah, you and they can get them in like copper and stuff. Yeah. And it really cool. Lovely. So this is the bathroom. Voila, voila, voila. Oh, it's actually massive in here. So, Lids is going to upload a YouTube video because our internet is still playing up, which is an absolute pain in the <laughs> then. We're going to get ready and changed because I can't go out wearing joggers. Although these Dior trainers are absolutely phenomenal. Wear them everywhere. So we arrived, sticks and sushi. Try Let's it. get some food. I love that they're displaying their food, but it actually looks epic. I know, and this it's, is better though than trying to imagine like what it is. I'm yeah, yeah. Like, so what is like a tartar? Yeah, exactly. What's a hiramanashi kama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, some of this looks epic. This is really good. This is good. Yeah. Definitely getting soup and beans. Yes, yes. Sushi has arrived. By the way, welcome to the vlog, Alex. Woo! Out of focus. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you were like a blur for like five seconds. He's the next boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alex and I have just finished off at Sticks and Sushi. It was good. You're rating it? It was good, definitely. I'll definitely it was... visit again. I'd say it was a good one. We didn't eat, I didn't really feel like we ate that much, but I feel full. Yeah, because I ate but literally three quarters of that because yeah. you weren't eating any of it. <laughs> I'm on that January diet. Saving it for the beer instead. January <laughs> diet. <laughs> We're going to introduce an alley now to IPAs yeah. because I can't believe you've actually never had I an IPA I don't know before. if I've had an IPA. I, don't, I definitely haven't regularly drank an IPA. It's so. you're drinking Carling. Alex is going to go and take <laughs> you Carling. Sorry, Fosters. Foster. Uh, no, mate, I started drinking Fosters years ago. Well, all right, yeah, yeah. I'm, de I'm definitely more on my, like, Peronis and my Amstels. Oh, you stepped it up now to yeah, 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 yeah. I've gone premium lager. <laughs> So Alex is going to go and take my uh, I don't know IPA we're virginity. Yeah. We're looking for a bar, we can't keep on walking too fast. So it's Ali, because he glued one of my old cameras. It's Ali. Hi, How are you doing? Oh, my God. He's having his pro man. He's having his Breakfast has officially arrived. It's actually looking quite healthy today, Lids. I'm very proud of us. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> Do you know the whole? I when I was ordering, I was oh saying God, she's given us two juices. I was like apple juice, and then she was like, I said smoothie, and she was like, okay, apple juice. I was like, no, the one that's got like all the other bits, like the ginger in it. And she went, apple juice and ginger, great choice. <laughs> 
She's actually done apple juice and ginger and the apple juice smoothie. That's fine. I can I do that. Each of those is going to be rank, but they're not together. Um, thinking when we, cause we both, porridge looks good. Yeah. When we both get back, um, hopefully we have a little nap in the car. Mm. And um, maybe we could go to the gym. Maybe we could go to the gym. Spins. Yeah, possibly, yeah. It's not a bad shout. So I do feel a little gross with myself. Okay. Also, me and Susie vlogged something on your camera last night. It's my footage. Oh, right, okay. okay. If it works in my video, it's going in. Yeah. Perfect. Back at the mirror again. I feel like I've spoke to you a lot in this mirror. I feel like this is the mirror of discussion. But Lids and I, as you can see, are packed up, ready to go. Lids has her PJs on. Oh, it is, yeah, I know. It is actually a really comfortable looking outfit. What can I say? Yeah, it's a good choice. Sloth by name, sloth by nature. Exactly that. Mm -hmm. Unlike me, I've got jeans on and a jumper and a jacket, and I don't like I'm ready to go out. Yeah, we're gonna head back now and uh, get cracking with some work at home. I did want to go out and shoot, but I think, um, I don't know if I told you actually, last night was really, really good. Sticks and sushi, really, really good. I'm definitely gonna go back. I think Lids would really like it as well. Um, the menu just offered so many different variations and it showed you it in picture format, which I absolutely loved because I'm not gonna lie, when I look through those menus, I'm just like, I don't really know what half this stuff is. So actually physically seeing it, you're like, oh yeah, I like those. So that was really good. And then we ended up having a few drinks here at the hotel with all of the other girls. And we ended up going to sleep at like 4 a.m. I think, was it? Three, yeah. three, four a.m. So basically we didn't get up today. We just stayed in the room and had breakfast and now we're gonna head back. So no photos happened. And it's actually a really, really good location. So. It would have been nice to have explored, but the price you pay for alcohol. Right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Taxi's outside, Lego. The remains of the Chinese New Year celebrations. So we're still in the cab and uh, we've just arrived back to Milton Keynes, which is great. Um, but when we were leaving London, I was about halfway through and I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna test my creative flow and I'm gonna try and shoot some street style photography, which I don't actually normally do, um, out of the car window. So I decided to do like a little series on my Instagram story. So if any of you follow me on there, Alleyball89, then you probably would have seen that. Um, but I just picked up the Sony A7R uh, with a 55 mm lens and I shot pretty much the majority of the shots on a uh, shutter speed of 160, f2.2 and a ISO of 200. Um, the windows in here are slightly tinted, so that kind of helped with the light because obviously brought daylight outside, so it was really bright. Um, and I thought I'm going to quickly share with you the photos, so we're going to go through them on the iPad now. And I want to know what you think. I did a slightly different edit to what I'd normally do on my Instagram feed, so um, they're kind of a lot more like the only way I can describe it is like photo photographery. I know it's not a word, um, but yeah, they're a lot sort of like grainier, darker, and uh, push the reds into the images to so take a look. Let me know what you think. Driving through Chinatown, and then a Thriller, which is a theatre show. And then I quite like this, it's quite like moods. I'm sorry for taking a photo of you, mate, but you look good right here. It's outside the Treehouse pub, I think it was. And then this would have looked really cool. She was actually smoking, and so I was trying to uh, capture her when there was smoke coming out, but didn't get the opportunity. And we we're on the move. You can see there's a little bit of motion blur here. At the bottom of the screen is quite nice. And this was a hat store. Love this shot. I love the mood of it. And uh, he's obviously got the classic, I'm assuming, uh, Burberry Mac on. Just walking through, heading towards the Regent Street area some more and the busy old underground it's uh, probably about two o'clock in the afternoon when these been taken so it wasn't actually that busy chocker block traffic on regent street a couple of uh, traditional red phone boxes absolutely love red phone boxes in fact i've just shot a series uh, close to where we live with cow which will probably be on my instagram account now uh, and we actually used the red phone boxes like a prop to shoot and they came out really really nicely 
and then back into Regent Street again where we continue to queue in traffic. Piccadilly Circus. So yeah, really, really happy with how those came out. I think it's um, it's really good practice to kind of like exercise your creativity um, to keep momentum and keep on pushing those boundaries. So I really enjoyed doing that. I think I'm going to do some more of those. Uh, I've only just posted them on my uh, account and I've already had loads and loads of messages from people saying that they actually really enjoyed it and they live for photography and so they'd love to see more of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to work on putting some more of that stuff out uh, on my Instagram stories and probably on my feed as well because um, I am going to be doing a new blog design where I'm going to be doing sort of like a photography section where I'm just going to be focusing on images and uh, stuff like that so yeah exciting stuff should be good but we're just about to get home now so I think Lyd and I are going to go in unpack and then try and get to the gym because we feel pretty rough still don't we Lyd? I would say rough is the word just tired we should try the peloton we were loaned the peloton for two months and that's, I think that's what I was going to say I think we mentioned that the internet is absolutely down where we are so um, it's really hard to obviously stream stuff on there because it's online based so we've kind of well I've managed to do two sessions of like online classes but they were very like buffery which was a bit frustrating but you haven't actually been on it yet have you lids I'm properly did you go on it it's good fun it's a really really good concept actually so I've been enjoying it I want to try and get on that a bit more I'll just miss the time. These are the wall lights that have arrived. They're brushed brass picture lights. Um, they've got two lights that will go in the bottom. And I'm going to show you the room, which actually quite exciting. You guys haven't seen the new bedroom yet, I don't believe. So this is currently the bedroom situation. It's finished decorating and furnishing. The only thing we're going to change is the curtains at the back. Um, they're going to be a different colour and style and then put these two wall lights up so as you can see we're going to have one picture light there one picture light over there and then this room is pretty much finished then really really happy with how it's looking I definitely just walked into a door the girls worked very hard Sarah and Lids putting all this together I think my favourite part of the room is possibly these bedside table lamps I just think they're really cool I love the kind of like daggery bits Really nice. So anyway, let's get cracking. I'm putting these little puppies up. are up. Need to straighten out that picture though because I knocked it, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> How much were they? I think about £30 each. Not too bad at all, are they? You happy? Yeah. And fill the hole underneath that light and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could probably paint it myself to be fair. Come on, Angel 
bottom. You can smell Nelson. Is that mice in it? No, Winky. Come on, Poppy, leave her alone. She made one little squawk. So this is either going to be really easy or an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> too bad. That was about 10 minutes. Got one more to do though. Got one more to do. I think whilst I focus on getting that other chair built, um, I'm probably going to look to see what we can get to eat as well. Um, and I still need to hit that gym session. But I think I'm also going to sign off the video because I'm only going to do that again twice. And I could just double layer that time lapse and make it look like I've done too. So yeah, vlog over. I'll uh, catch you guys probably later on this week. This weekend I'm going to be heading to the BAFTA with an espresso and I've also actually got a charity golf game for one of my little brother's uh, friends who very sadly passed away. So we're going to be doing a charity golf game for that and so my week's actually pretty jam-packed now up until Sunday but I'm sure we'll check in in between that. As always I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.